I smoked two joints before I smoked two joints, and then I smoked two more. Okay, hey there, hello everybody, and welcome to another meeting at Hempology 101. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming out uh, uh, on this <laughs> wonderful Wednesday night. The nature's held off on the rain, and uh, away we go. Uh, thanks for your patience. It's been a bit of a scramble. There's been a few uh, missing team members and such, but uh, we've got it all lined up. For those who don't know what the hell's going on, and I'm not claiming I do really either, uh, a few facts here. Uh, Hempology 101's been doing stuff in Victoria Coming on 14 years, September the 9th will be our 14 year anniversary. Thanks, gang. Um, but we've been doing all sorts of rallies, conventions, game shows, cookie giveaways, you name it. Um, September the 9th, we're going to be marching from uh, City Hall sometime after 7 to the Parliament building. So, uh, just a special note for that. I got lots of other stuff to tell you about. I'm going to try to talk quick because we only got one battery tonight. So let's just get this game on the road. And I'd ask our contestants to come up and, uh, and, and we'll take it from there. So, uh, um, um, you're on this team here. Everything else I make it up as we go anyway. So that's basically what we're going to stick with for now, though. So. The first question every week, we'd like to ask a question about either Hempology 101 or our sister club, the Cannabis Buyers Clubs of Canada. For over 13 years, uh, I have been selling cannabis products to people with permanent physical disabilities and diseases. And uh, thank you. Um, it's been quite an adventure. I started Hempology first. But uh, in September 95, and then, you know, just immediately started meeting all these sick people that couldn't buy pot. And it's like, well, what do you mean no one can yes, get so your pot? Yeah. I can get you pot. Okay. So I just started selling <laughs> pot to sick people. I just couldn't refuse them. I can turn down anybody else but someone who's actually really medically in need, you know? So I um, so started the club in a van. I just moved here basically from Victoria. I got a pager and a pamphlet. Everything I have and everything you see me giving away is because I just started giving stuff away before I had anything. And people have just helped me and we've grown into something that's hard to keep my head around. Anyway. So, the first question each week is either about the Cannabis Buyers Club or our sister club. But this week I've picked a Hempology 101 question. I'm going to read a quote for 20 points, I want to know who wrote this about Hempology 101. <laughs> Step 1. Hempology. Started up in Vansterdam by super hempster Dana Rosak in 1994. Oh, there's a clap. Who wrote it? David Melmo Levine wrote it. Yes, he did. And uh, it's about the history of Hempology 101. It's on the back of our handouts. Uh, that we give at the University of Victoria, but I teach a free lecture series at the University of Victoria. It's a, it's a non-credit uh, free lecture, so you can come and go and watch any of the 22 lectures that you want to, and we post them live on the internet on our Stick'em webpage, as well as put them up later on YouTube. If you punch up Hempology 101 on YouTube, you'll see a lot of different shows, all these different things that we've done, and, and there's much, much more coming. Uh, in fact, I've asked for permission. I've talked to you guys earlier about Team 420 and, and the dodgeball tournament coming up this weekend. I asked permission from the city of Victoria to put the dodgeball tournament live on the Hempology 101 Stick'em webpage. So we may end up having like you know the live dodgeball tournament uh, being broadcast on Hempology 101 and have the zone and everybody else kind of you know saying that and we're, we're using this dodgeball tournament to kind of come out of the closet in various ways with Team 420. It's going to be great. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, David Melmo Levine uh, um, wrote uh, a lot about how to get Hempology 101 going. I'll just read it for you and get on to the second question then. Are you in dodgeball? But uh, I didn't get to read through it. <laughs> Hempology's motto is legalization through education. Fundamental to this idea is to get people meeting on a regular weekly basis. You can talk about prohibition history, hemp seed nutrition, or how to grow pot. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's fun and people are learning about cannabis, it's Hempology. Step two, 
smoke in. The main point of a smoke in is to have some fun. The other point is to remove, remove the shame and fear associated with pot smoking by replacing it with the image of having fun while being responsible and peaceful. Peaceful, of course. So, thank you for that, David. Not that we're getting along well these days. You have to even have a child. So, 20 points to trip and balls. Game on. That's an umbrella. So, now that you guys got the gist of it, and I've got that off my chest, here we go. So, having fun should be part of cannabis activism. Like, I'm so tired of ranting and raving myself that this is just like my love and joy these things so um one of the other things that's cool is all the cannabis games out there i haven't brought many of the card games and stuff like this but there's card games and board games and you know i've got all sorts of different things i, I can't believe i haven't made one yet myself but that day will come with reach for the pot to be sure I can't wait to play it online. I just have this image of like online Hollywood squares and shit. But this big screen behind my ass. I don't know. Anyway, one of the best games out there to play, oh, it takes a while, is the Cultivation Game. I'm going to throw down 20 points to anybody who can name one of the people on the bills in the Cultivation Game. Because there's like six denominations. Oh, Saria. No, nice guess. No, educated guess. One of my multiple choice answers by Ixnay on the Jacker R. So, 20 points. Let's see, Keith. What is it? Mark Emery wishes he was in there. I'm sure I know which bill he put his face on, but no. No, Mark Emery did not get in. He, he wasn't that well known. It's, it's a bit of an older game. I forget which year it came out. Like, you know, but, oh yeah, 10 points. It's, it's on. It's on. George Washington for 10 points. Yes! Tripping balls. Okay, I don't think I grabbed all of them, but I, I got a bunch of the bills here, so um, I, I missed my Buddha. Actually, Buddha is on one of them. Um, we'll start with the $1,000 bill. I don't know if you guys know about the Hassassins or the Hashashins, as they were sometimes known in ancient history, but uh, their, their leader, the old man on the mountain, I'll never say it right because I'm horrible with anything but English, and even that, I'm a, I'm a pig. But ha Hali Selassie is the leader or former leader of, uh, of that group. Um, Queen Victoria is also on the bill. Um, she uh, used cannabis tinctures, uh, if you didn't know, oh doctor recommended. Um, like I say, I forgot the Buddha bill, we got George Washington, then we got Adam and Eve, Woo. <laughs> then uh, the former owner, now deceased, uh, of Sacred Herb, uh, Ian Hunter. So uh, those are the six options. And uh, George Washington, it is. It's been a couple of weeks, I tell ya. <laughs> so, third question. No, no. We're, you guys got 30 points. Calm down, buddy. You're, you're way ahead of the game. Jesus. Okay. Third question tonight. There's lots of stuff, information out there, people doing things. It's uh, pretty incredible. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> the next next question I'm going to give you one year within one year what year was marijuana reconsidered one of the most important books uh, to, to come out uh, earlier on in the movement it's obviously been around a couple years um, Dr. Lester Grinspoon a uh, 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 foremost uh, doctor in, in the field is, is the author and uh, John how many times have you read this book no I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> He's sold a lot of coffee. He's cool. So how much, or what year is it published? Within one. 1971 on the button for 20 points, buddy. Yes, uh, 1971, uh, a very uh, uh, important year in many ways uh, uh, for the pot movement, not only because of this book, but uh, because of some of the, the work of Normal, and I think High Times came out that year, and... Uh, I think an earlier version of the Canadian Ladane, or sorry, not the Ladane Commission. Or was it, yeah, the Ladane Commission came out that year. All sorts.